In today's video, I'm gonna show you, yes you, how you can make money on YouTube without showing your face. <laughs> and if you stick around until the end, I'll share one way that hardly anyone else is talking about. There are several ways that you can make money on YouTube. For the purpose of this video, we will be talking about creating a faceless YouTube channel. The first thing that you have to do, and I can't overemphasize this, is doing research right at the start so that you don't spend hours creating all these good looking videos and then nobody goes and watches it. So you're gonna have to do some research in order to choose a niche or niche that you are passionate about, but at the same time that people are wanting to watch the videos. Okay, so the tools that I use are as follows. Let's hop over to the screen real quick. The first tool that I use is a tool called Topic Mojo, and it's pretty inexpensive. It's about $10 per month. And what you can do is you'll come and you'll type in a search query over here. So you'll type in, let's say like, I've got a few queries over here. I've cleared the other ones out, but you can type in, let's say we type in the following search query. Um, how to create a YouTube channel. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna click search and it's gonna go and takes a few seconds sometimes or it might take a few minutes but for the purpose of this example let's say I wanted to do a video or a channel around side hustle so all the videos are going to be around side hustle so you'll type in the same search query box and then you'll click on report this is going to open up over here and it's going to show 294 keywords found the highest is found in Quora so Quora and Reddit are great places where people ask questions but if you come down to the bottom, you can see what people are asking on these different platforms. But something I want to point out over here is, you click on view all. These are questions, the top questions that people are asking. So if people are asking these questions, I would consider creating videos around these. So what are the top five side hustles? How can I make an extra 2000 per month? What are the highest paying side hustles? And so on, but then make it your own. And then what another tip, something that you can go and do is, Maybe take these videos and then go and post it as comments on these platforms so people who are asking the questions can come to your video and in turn watch your video. So let's say you're saying, I don't have $10 per month, what can I do right now? There's another tool called Answer the Public. So if I type in the word side hustles over here and I click search and I come down Okay, so there's one thing I want to point out real quickly. So the darker the green, the more search volume there is for these. So we've got different types of searches. So where, who, which. So which side hustle pays the most? So people are asking the questions. What side hustles make you the most money? Those might be videos you want to create. Is the side hustle on Netflix? Is the side hustle stack legit so there's lots of questions over here if you click on this little data box over here you can identify it in this particular format as well and then you can start making your videos if you wanted to so once you've got the the questions from topic mojo and onto the public uh, before you go out and create the videos i want you to consider going over to the following two softwares number one is going to be tubebuddy which is this over here and VidIQ. So these are Chrome extensions that you are going to attach to your YouTube account. So if I come and type in the word side hustle over here, what these show me is obviously this is in YouTube, it shows me the top videos for this particular phrase. But this is the VidIQ section over here. It says that there's a decent amount of volume, but the competition is high, right? It shows some statistics around the the word side hustle. And then if you scroll down over here, we're going to have TubeBuddy. If you click on show keyword score, similar sort of metric. It says it's fair, but it's going to be, there's a lot of competition, lots of search volume. But if I just type in side hustle, chances of me getting my videos up there, a ranking are going to be low, which means that people are probably not going to be able to watch my videos. Okay, so what you then go and do is maybe try and tweak this slightly so I could say side hustles in, let's say I'm in Dallas, right? Let's see if there's anything like that. So all of a sudden competition is low. The volume is 
42. So there's not a lot, but there's a decent amount. And if I come to this particular one over here, look at that. So if I go and create a video around side hustles in Dallas, if people are going to be searching for that, that might not be high, right, in terms of the volume, but there are people searching for that. I could easily rank on the first page and I could start getting views to my videos. So I could create a channel dedicated around different types of side hustles in Dallas. So if you're in Cape Town, side hustles in Cape Town. And as a result of that, when people search that, your videos will rank and it will start to be picked up by the algorithm and you'll start getting views driven to your videos. Okay, so now that you've got your niche and you've identified topics that you want to create content around, the next thing you need to do is come up with a script for your video. And so the first thing that you could do is you could go to a place like Fiverr and outsource the videos. So if we come to Fiverr real quick and we type in Faceless YouTube, Let's click on that. You'll see all these people over here that are creating faceless channels and there's a bunch of them creating this, but let's choose this person as an example. I've never clicked in this person's profile before, but let's go to that. They'll create basic top 10 videos. So different people specialize in different things and they've got different options over here. $20 if you want 10 and then premium they'll post they'll create your voiceover your script thumbnail and all these things for 40 dollars for one video so if you've got the money you might consider coming over to a platform like fiverr or upwork to get people to create it the one problem that i've encountered with some of these not all of these because there's lots of good creators out there sometimes people use reuse content so you might want to discuss that up front that it needs to be original content because you don't want to put content on youtube that is somebody else's and then face getting your video struck down or your youtube account closed because you've used somebody else's content and infringed the copyright laws without asking people permission to actually use their content so what I would do is, if, if I didn't want to go the Fiverr route, I could come to a software like Phrase. And so you'd go to phrase.io, and you, I'm going to log in real quick. So I'm going to click pause while I do that. So now we're on the inside of Phrase, and I clicked on SEO tools, and I want to come to Topic Planner real quick. Um, I'm going to type in the word Side Hustle. Click Enter. And while it's thinking, it's looking at the top articles out there on this topic. And what I want to just mention right at the start, do not use somebody else's content. You're just going to use this in order to get ideas. So while the software goes and it identifies the top side hustles over here, you can see that these are all different sorts of concepts. So if I'm just going to come down, these are the top 20 search results subtopics that you can create videos around if i wanted to do these one in the uk if i wanted to do in dallas and so on but let's just choose that real quick i'm going to click create document and it's going to go ahead and create a document let me open the document real quick okay i'll click on let's go so while that's thinking over there i'm going to click pause real quick Okay, so now it looks at the top 20 articles and over here you can come and see what is a side hustle, how to make money, start a wholesale business, all different sorts of side hustles that you can go and create content around. So let's say I wanted to just take, I'll click on that, it gives me the idea, but if I actually want the content within it, I could click on that and it pulls all of this information in over here around this particular concept. So once you've gotten this, I encourage you to use this as a baseline. Don't use this information word for word, but go and make it your own. So take this information and use these headlines. This could be a, a headline for myself. What is a side hustle and how do you make money through one? So I'd write that in my own words as my first point in my video. And then I could go and rewrite this in my own words, right? And so I could go through all these articles over here just to see which ones I, I think are good. So let's say I like that one too, I'll click paste. 
and then I can click on the drop down and then I can click paste. So I click deliver for food. So I'd go and rewrite that. I'd say become somebody that delivers food to others and in turn by solving their needs you can make great money in terms of the tips that they provide for you. And then I can go and create some content around that begin by writing my own words. So now that you've got your script, the next thing that you need to do is create your video. And there are a few ways that you can do it. You can do it using softwares that you pay for and you can do it using free softwares online as well. And I'll show you both. So let's hop on over straight to the computer again. So the first site you can use is a site called Pixel. So if you type in the word side hustle, you could come over here, you could try and look at videos. Sometimes you're not going to always be able to find the video depending on the niche that you're looking at. But let's say we go to photos real quick. And again, because it's faceless, you could just have images on your screen while you're talking as I am into a mic at the moment. So you could find a video over here that maybe matches something like a side hustle. You could have that guy over there. Maybe he's a YouTuber using his camera. So you could click on that and you're going to click free download. Okay, so the next site's called Pixabay, P-I-X-A-B-A-Y, typed in the word side hustles, and uh, let's just click enter. Okay, it didn't quite do what I wanted to, but there's lots of videos over here, but let's type it in again. Side hustle, there we go. So these are all different videos over here which you could possibly use here we've got a lady over here maybe she's designing some stuff at the back over there so she's a designer where she sells different designs it's a side hustle she creates websites or or logos and things like that another two tools which i personally use is going to be let's see wave dot video so you click on create you'll click on from text you can type in the name over here of the video and then this is just the script that I had from phrase paste that in again I would go ahead and I would rewrite it in my own words and not just use somebody else's words verbatim again I just use tools like phrase just for idea generation and you can either use the paid footage or you could use your free so let's say we wanted to do free and you could choose the mood over there you click next different templates over here so because it's youtube we're going to use horizontal so let's say we're going to go with that one over there create the video so while it's creating the video it takes a few seconds maybe a minute or so i'm going to click pause okay so it's created the video over here and you can click play real quick <laughs> Okay, so real quick, if I didn't like that particular image over there, I can come and I can click replace. I'll go to stock library and I could choose something else over here. So let's try that one over there. And it changes as simple as that. Uh, you can then have music over here. You can have no music on the video. And it's pretty much created this full video for us. All the way to the end you can chop it up this video is a minute and 58 seconds long you probably want it to be a bit longer than that but it's created our video based on what we had typed in and it transcribed it and, and everything so let's say you like this video you can then come and click publish videos mp4 you can choose the format and you click on the word render and it's going to go ahead and it's going to render the video the next tool similar to this i'm going to use is pictory come up to pictory over here they too have this particular uh, concept of pasting in a script so let's type in side hustle and then let's paste it in and then i'm going to click on proceed choose my templates they've got some nice templates as well so let's choose this one as an example and you can choose the format that's youtube over there so continue so as it creates the video i'm going to click pause real quick okay so create the video and as you can see they've got this you can drag where you want the text to appear you can go in and edit it's important with both wave and 
this particular one to go in and edit just to make sure that the words if you're going to use the captions are going to appear correctly if you don't want the captions and you're just going to have your voiceover that's another thing that you could just hide so in both wave and the other one you can go and hide so i can go and hide the text as an example and it's gone and the same appears applies to wave so let's say you like this video over here you're going to click on the word generate and it's actually going to go ahead and create the video which you can then download as an mp4 okay and um, it's as simple as that guys again with uh, pixels and pixabay you probably need to have a video editing software there's a free one called davinci resolve d-a-v-i-n-c-i -E resolve and you can just literally take the images or the videos that you found online for free and then drop it into the editor and then uh, start talking the way that i am and you can attach your voice or add the voiceover for lack of a better word to the different scenes that you're going to create or in pictree and wave you could do the exact same thing okay so now that you have your script and you've got your videos or your images that you're going to use you need to create a voiceover and there's a few ways in which you can do that. You could go on to Fiverr again. You can type in voiceover and you'll see that there are people who will create professional voiceovers for you. The other option is to use a software like Pictory or a software like Wave. And if you come to voiceover over here, let's go to voiceover over here. Let's come to audio, voiceover. They've got these voices over here that you could apply this try eugene real quick okay so that's going to be the voice that's going to be added to the video i'll play it real quick something that something can that can either help you make more today. money today tomorrow, tomorrow, or, tomorrow or, five years. or five years people say you can't get monetized using a voice i get but there are lots of channels out there that you can as long as you can show that there's some form of human element to the video creation you could be okay but if it was me personally i'd either outsource the voice creation can be a bit costly alternatively i would just pick up my phone record my voice on my phone and then uh, alternatively if i've got a nicer mic like the one that i've got over here it's slightly out of shot at the moment i would use this to record so once you've created your script and your video and you've matched or synced your audio you need to create a thumbnail and a, a cool free software is called uh, Canva. So once you've created your video and you've synced your audio, you need to create a thumbnail before you go and upload your video to YouTube. So quite often when I watch a video on YouTube, uh, the thumbnail attracts me to the video, right? So I've typed in my search phrase and this thumbnail just jumps out at me. So don't forget about the importance of this. So let's say I type in YouTube thumbnail, which I've got over there. I can choose any one of these. So let's say I chose that one over there. And it's as simple as just double clicking. I can come and change that to the text. I can change the color over here. Let's say I wanted it to be that color blue. If I wanted this image to change, I can click on, on that. And if I've got my own uploads, I can upload an image over there. Alternatively, I could just come and search for photos that I might have, or there's a whole host of things that you can just come and drop in over here. And once you've gotten your particular thumbnail created, you would come and create the word over this side hustle. And you're gonna click share, and you're gonna click download. Okay, so now you've created a video. Do you go and create your channel? My advice is to create maybe 10 videos right so create 10 videos and then start uploading maybe start out with maybe one or two a week just so that your channel gains traction and if the the reason i say 10 videos you don't want to find yourself in a position where you created one now and then you don't have time the next week or two and then maybe you create another video and again i've fallen into that before where i've started and i've stopped and i've started and i've stopped and the algorithm doesn't like that the algorithm wants you to create regular content for your subscribers, for your your watches, for the people that follows your channel. And, and if you can actually go ahead and you can actually create regular content, they're gonna come back, right? So create 10 at the start and then schedule them 
you can go into YouTube and actually into the studio and you can schedule them out. So maybe one or two per week initially, and then you can create more videos. And then once you've got more videos in the pipeline, I would say give it three months or so. And if you see the channel is starting to take off great, if after three months, nothing has happened, then I might consider going back to the drawing board and identifying is this again or what people really want to watch. And with me personally, I've got a branded channel which took about a year before I got a thousand subscribers. And the first few videos, as I indicated, was 20 views and then 30 views and then 80 views. And then I get a little bit more than that until I had one video which took off. So it took almost a year in that regard. But for you personally, if it's a faceless channel, where you don't have to worry about setup, you don't have to worry about your background, give it three months. And then if it doesn't work out, choose another topic. So here's the bonus point, which I said a lot of people are not talking about, is while you're building out your channel, I want you to make sure that yes, AdSense is great where YouTube is going to give you revenue for having great content that people are watching. But while you're doing that, why not go ahead and include links to products that the particular video is discussing. So let's say it's side hustles in, in Dallas, right? If I'm reviewing general things in Dallas that people can do, or in addition to that, just a general side hustle like becoming a digital designer, I could recommend it's one of the tools that they use, a particular software that I use, whether it's Canva, or one of the other tools that I use that I pay for and I can have a link to that tool where they can get it either at a discount or a reduced price or even the normal price but by clicking on my link I can then make an affiliate commission